Hello, on again. Um, just seeing me in that little uh, red tin house. We're now at our location, which is literally, you can just see the red tin house just over there. So we've just come around the corner and look, the road stops, <laughs> there's no more road. So we are where we are. We've just seen a signpost down the hill a little bit um, to the name of the place of where we're going. So uh, we're gonna kit up, gonna change my boots, get me old uh, walking boots on, might even put me gaiters on and uh, head that direction. It's quite a nice, it's quite mild in all fairness. We've had a few spots of rain. Don't know what that was. Had a few spots of rain, but it's pretty mild. Um, so I don't want to carry too many, you know, too many coats. Uh, I think we'll put on the old faithful red coat and take me a little waterproof with me, just in case it does decide to open the ovens. But yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Okie dokie, we're off to see the wizard. Oh no, no, that's a different film, isn't it? Um, right, we've got a 2.6 or 2.7 kilometer walk. Uh, no vehicle access, even though this does actually look like a road. So I've abandoned the car back on the, what looks like a road. And uh, we're walking, <laughs> you keep spotting wheels and tires in the bog. It's almost like someone's sunk in there. There's another one in there. Yeah, there's another. And a spring. There's a spring. <laughs> Maybe the moral of the story is you don't bring your car up here because you end up in the bog. There's bits there and all. <laughs> there's a chassis and another wheel. Yeah. Crazy. So yeah, we're on a bit of a hike. Like I said, we've got the boots on. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a... Oh, bloody hell. I bet. Another train track. It's not a train track, that's the chassis. <laughs> that looks like a chassis of a, a shed or something. That's a chassis. Got wood on it, it? Yeah, I know. That's probably where it ended up. Uh, yeah, where was I? Yeah, at the end of this video, I'm going to do spot the obvious mistake. Or not so much the obvious mistake, but um, spot the non -con continuity. And uh, the first one that can guess what the non-continuity was in my video and it's quite obvious I'll send him a car sticker landscape photography adventures car sticker or vlogography adventures car sticker should I say so yeah there's cars up here why why are we parked down there that's not right is it there's cars up here never mind the walk could do us good <laughs> for about three days. A bit out of practice. It's, warm <laughs> it's dead warm, it's dead muggy. I've put my coat on, haven't I? And I am absolutely melting. I've got it unzipped, I'm flattery. Look at this, flattery belly hanging out and everything. Uh, just saying to Denise, as I'm walking along, it feels like I'm walking on a trampoline. Squidgy. And I'm digging the hills in a little bit and it, it's really squidgy. And every so often, and I think it's because it's like that, it's matting down. Yeah. See like this, under my feet there, there's matting down. And the matting's obviously stopping you from going through the, the bog. And then they put some gravel on the top of it. Yeah. But it really is, <laughs> it really is quite weird to walk on because you think you're on a gravel path, but you're not. I think they've made this a little bit more accessible to when I Googled it. Um, so they really have, they've chucked some gravel down over the top of some mesh matting. And we're basically walking on the bog. But uh, it feels really weird on the feet. Poo bag, poo bag, poo bag, poo bag. Don't do poo bags. 
Oh. No good, it's got to come off. Suppose now, as good as time as ever, is to tell you where we are. And I can't because I've forgotten what the name of the place is. Ellen Glass. Uh, Ellen Glass Lighthouse. Look at that for a beauty. Now there's a lot more to this place than meets the eye. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, because it looks like, like I said, they've made a better access pathway for general public to get here. Uh, which would be a bit of a daunting shame if what I'm expecting to see isn't there anymore because this is an absolute treasure. Well done to the person who I won't announce just yet. Yeah, no, well done to Kim Grant for pointing this out a year ago. Um, back again, memory card for all that time. Um, I can't remember your name, I think it might be Elaine. She left me a comment on one of my last videos, the Q&A one, she said, question for you, will we ever see a video where you don't run out of your battery? Mm, maybe, but you won't, see, you won't see one that doesn't run out of something. Right, so yeah, we're here, we're at uh, Ilian Glass, Glass. Light, uh, Lighthouse, and we're on uh, Scalpy. And let's say the footpaths we made a little bit more accessible. So yeah, I'm going to take a couple of images of this. I know the sky's grey, but if all else fails, I'll turn the whole image grey. Um, it's still nice, it's still beautiful, it's sitting on a little lump of rock just down there. Uh, red and white, painted up from it quite nicely. And we've got rocks in the foreground, so we can use the lot, put it all on, Tone the sky down a little bit and just see if we can make it into a bit of a moody, gritty, grungy image, um, which is what I quite fancy. So, it's a shame uh, to make it grey. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame to make it, it is a shame to make it grey when it's red. Um, but I think we'll be able to pull out something and just tone the sky in a little bit. But yeah, really nice. Looking forward to getting over there. But first of all, I am going to take a shot here just in case the weather turns really bad. I don't think we're going to get, it, get anything other than this sky today. But you never know. You never know what happens later on. So uh, I'll set the camera up, get a shot of this, and I'll probably talk to you when we get over there. See you in a bit. come for we're here check this out lady C mrs. C should I say behind me before I get my head smashed in <laughs> no she's she don't like being called mrs. C lady C but wow we got stuff inside there's an old gardening tractor the rain's gonna come down in a minute so I'm gonna come in here and hide 
this is this is one of them things I've come to see. Let me just put my tripod down. Oh, oh, put it down in such a way I don't drop it and lose it, eh? And put it in the doorway so I can see it. Right, this is one of the things I've come to see if I can get in here. And it's not that easy to get in, so let's fold the old tripod legs up and let's uh, see if we can get you in here. I might have to go sideways, bear with me one minute. A little tiny light that I can put on my camera, and I don't know whether it's going to work for you, but uh, I don't know. Not that easy to walk around in here, to be honest. There's uh, electric stuff hanging down and whatnot. I'm going to fold these legs up on the tripod. But, oh, bear with me a minute, bear with me, bear with me. Let me glasses adjust because they're still dark, which isn't helping. Put me out around that way so I can see what I'm doing. But yeah, look at this, pool table, and in the corner there's a games machine. So, oh, I'm going to have a bit of a wander through, trying to be careful what I'm stepping on. But how pretty cool is this? It's a bit dark in here, can't really see a lot. In fact, it's very dark in here. I know you can see me, and you can see on the camera. See if I can put my phone on, see if I can see what I'm doing. Ah, ooh! <laughs> There's a sunbed! <laughs> There's a sunbed, look at this. A Solario sunbed! <laughs> what else have we got in here? Uh, space invaders. Proper Astro Wars. How, how old is that? How amazing is that? And then a load of bricks. Oh, I found the dunny. There's the toilet. Gosh, only knows what's in here and the sink. What else have we got in here? It's really dark. This is a sauna and a shower. That's a sauna. Can you get in there and have a look? Oh, I can't, but can you see in there? I can't get in there, but I'm sure you can. <laughs> this is a... Uh, a bit random. Might have to get get the wife in it. Look at that sunbed. Oh, how much was that? Fifty p. Can you see that? Fifty p. It's a long time since it was fifty p. I'm sure. Right, let's turn me light off. Turn me light back off. I'm gonna have to get my camera out tonight. Coming in with my camera. But that's it. This is bonkers. I'm going to have to send the wife in. Oh. She's going to have to go and see that. Oh. How mad is that? Let's turn this light off. <laughs> How cool is that, eh? That's obviously the, the guy's games room. So, uh, so he didn't go mad. So he didn't go crazy and mad and bonkers like. Right, I'm going to take my camera in now. I'm going to snap a couple of shots of that because I think it's too good to waste. And... Uh, I'll show you in a minute, and I'll show you another bit in a minute. Quite excited now. All right, dear. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs>
mistake. Bosini. Eh? Just read the sign though. It says uh, you've been warned. <laughs> Falling materials. So uh, yeah, tread with caution. Let's take me time. Make sure I know what's above me, Ed. Pretty uh, good. I do like exploring. I do like looking and finding things. Now, this would be. This is where they used to sleep. I can't get in because there's boxes and stuff in the way. Uh, I might have to move these boxes in a minute and have a look. But I'm going to poke you in. Let me know what's in there. I hope you did. It's uh, pretty wicked though. She's shooting through the window over there. <laughs> She's being sneaky. Oh, this is fantastic though. And this is because it's so far away from everywhere. I bet on a crashing, a crashing windy waves. Uh, I bet this is something else. I bet it's a completely different atmosphere. There's no wind, there's no anything. There we go, a bit of vertigo for you. Does that make a good app? <laughs> All right, explore. What it'll do with my camera? There she is. Left it. Just left it lying around. There's no one around. It's empty. Let's go and have a look at uh, what the wife's up to. If I can get my camera over the, over the wall, shooting through the windows. Hang on, let's have a look and see what she's got. She's been shooting through the windows here. It's my reflection and inside the kitchen and the outside of the lighthouse. That put your eye up to the viewfinder. Ooh, that is spooky. <laughs> let's have a look at one see if you can see in here. These things here that we're just walking up to now, these look like big air cylinders and uh, would no doubt be full of air for this particular reason, which I can't get past because the wife's in the way. I've got tripods and sticks everywhere. Yeah, these things here are air cylinders, I think, um, or probably even heated and make steam because they head off into this. And this thing here, I'm gonna have to put my tripod down and this is another one of those little adventure things. The tripod goes there, and I think, I think me and you have got to try and get up there somehow. So, uh, old five, <laughs> and I'm going up there. It says ancient monument, one of the first four lighthouses in Scotland, begun in 1787. I 
I managed to get up here and we're in the uh, dark depths of look at this this is all a contraption for the big thingy thingy outside that I'm going to show you isn't this stuff amazing look at it absolutely amazing and come around here and look at this bearing in mind it's on runners as well all the way around and here she is oh I bet that thing makes absolute racket <laughs> look at the size of it look at the size of that that's massive and that's obviously directional so it comes all the way around my god that's massive I'd love to hear that go off but I certainly wouldn't want to be stood here if it did amazing absolutely amazing I need to get a photograph of it though from the other side not up here well the only problem is I'm not sure now how to get back down there mm. that's gonna be an interesting one see you at the bottom <laughs> I've been down on the rocks taking a few pictures I've put a wide angle lens on now but it seems to be stretching everything which it doesn't seem to be I know it's stretching everything but I had some lovely little leading lines down on the rocks uh, leading you up through the walk pools there's a little reflection in a pool of water as well I was getting told off by uh, the wife don't go too far don't go too far and I was I was just going out on the edge of the rocks to be honest um, it, they were quite gritty so it was quite easy to stand on but yeah, this is a really nice shot from here and look at this sky now we're getting we are getting some seriously moody Wet moody water. grungy gray thick cloud and i love that and against this red it's absolutely astounding so i need to get up on that rock i think put the other lens back on and get a shot of this with that cloud behind it because it is just so gritty and grungy and it's got so much mood to it so right change my lens over get a couple of shots out look at them don't they look fantastic and the good lady wife's just been taking pictures of them but that section there just looks awesome on its own right few more photographs and then we'll uh, check out. Catch you in a bit.
Hello, <laughs> we're riding in the doorway. It's starting to rain a bit, so we're gonna ride in the doorway. We're gonna just check out a little bit of applearium. Look at that, everyone needs a couple of apples in their pocket, don't they? Um, yeah, we're gonna check out now. Uh, I think this video has been long enough. You've seen some couple of abandoned places and a couple of disused houses and that. Uh, pretty awesome. This place is under reservation, so it won't be the same probably when we ever come back. Uh, I will come back here. It'd be good to do a workshop up here. If you're anyone interested, give me a shout. <laughs> um, That's a long no, but seriously, time. this would be a good place for a workshop. Uh, we're going to check out a few of the other places um, on the way back, and I'll, you know we've got another couple of days here yet. But you never know. Look for the future. I always looking for the future. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget do all the obvious, like and subscribe, and forward this video and share this video if uh, you've liked what we what we've seen or what you've seen and what we're up to. Uh, if you're new here please do subscribe, uh, you won't be disappointed, we're always up to something, we're always doing something somewhere. And uh, if you're my regular subscribers, I hope you enjoyed this one, it's not been a proper landscape, it's been a bit random, but we all know you lot like us being random and being ourselves, isn't it? So uh, yeah, till next time, see you on the next one, ciao!